everybody video here for you today. This is one I have pretty much all put together. Just need to put an intro on it here. We're going to go down to Tiwanaku today. This is one of the more mysterious ancient places we have in all the world. I'm sure you've seen Brian Forrester's videos, Ben, Uncharted X. A lot of other people have done videos from down here. But today, it's going to be a little different. Today, we are going to talk about Pedro de Siaza de Leon, who was here a little under 500 years ago. This place has undergone some reconstruction. We're going to read about what he saw, what he wrote about when he first entered this place about 480 years ago. While I read, I'm going to show you some very old pics, old drawings before this place was ever reconstructed. But this is from the journal of a Spanish explorer, Pedro Siaza de Leon, who was here almost 500 years ago. I've done this with explorers in Egypt. I know Ben has at Uncharted X. It's always interesting to see what they were thinking when they came upon these ruins here. Here are some old pics, some old drawings, and some thoughts of an explorer here about 480 years ago. Kiwanaku is not a very large village, but it is celebrated for the great edifices near it, which are certainly things we're seeing. Near the buildings, there is a hill made by the hands of men on great foundations of stone. Beyond this hill, there are two stone idols of human shape and figure, the features skillfully carved so that they appear to have been done by the hand of a great master. They are so large that they seem like small giants, and it is clear they have on some sort of clothing different from those worn by the natives of these parts. Near these stone statues is another building. Their antiquity and want of letters are the causes why it is not known who built such vast foundations and how much time since has elapsed. For a present, there is only a wall, very well built, which must have been standing for many ages. Some of the stones are much worn, at this part, there are stones of such enormous size it causes one to think of them and to reflect how human force can have sufficed to move them to the place where we have seen them today, being so large. Many of these stones are carved in different ways, some of them having the shape of a human body, which must have been their idols. Near the wall, there are many holes and hollow places in the ground. In another, more to the westward, there are ancient remains among them many doorways with their jams, lentils, and thresholds, all of one stone. But what I noted most particularly when I wandered about over these ruins, writing down what I saw, was that from these great doorways there came out other still larger stones upon which the doorways were formed, some of them 30 feet broad, 15 or more long, and 6 in thickness. The whole of this, with the doorway and its jams and lentil, was all a single stone, the work is one of grandeur and magnificence when well considered. For myself, I fail to understand with what instruments or tools it can have been done, for it is very certain that before these great stones could have been brought to perfection and left as we see them, the tools must have been much better than those now used by the Indians. It is to be noted from what now appears of these edifices that they were not completed, for there is nothing but these portals and other stones of strange bigness, which I saw some of them shaped and dressed, ready to be placed on the edifice, which was a little on the one side. Here there was a great idol of stone, which must have been placed there to be worshipped. It is rumored that some gold was found near this idol, and all around there must have been more stones, large and small, all dressed and fitted like those already described. Mm -hmm. There are other things to be said concerning Tiwanaku, which I pass over, concluding with a statement of my belief that this ruin is the most ancient in all Peru. It is asserted that these edifices were commenced before the time of the Incas, and I have heard some Indians affirm that the Incas built their grand edifices at Cusco on the plan which they had observed at the wall near these ruins. They even say that the first Incas thought of establishing their court at Tiwanaku. Another remarkable thing, that is in all this district, there are no quarries. Whence the numerous stones can have been brought, the carrying of which must have required many people. I asked the natives, in presence of Juan de Barraquez, whether these edifices were built in the time of the Incas, 
and they laughed at the question, affirming that they were made before the Incas ever reigned, but that they could not say who had made them. They added that they had heard from their fathers that all we saw was done in one night. From this and from the fact that they also speak of bearded men on the island of Titicaca and of others who built the edifice of Vinaque, it may perhaps be inferred that before the Incas reigned, there was an intelligent race who came from some unknown part who did these things, being few, and the natives many, they may have all been killed in the wars. Seeing that all these things are hidden from us, we may well say, Blessed be the invention of letters by the virtue of which memory of events endures for many ages, and their fame lies through the universe. We are not ignorant of what we desire to know when we hold the letters in our hands. But in this new world of the Andes, as they knew nothing of letters, we are in a state of blindness concerning many things. Apart from these ruins, there are buildings of the Incas and the house where Manco Inca, the son of Juana Capac, was born. Close by are the tombs of the native chiefs of this place, as high as towers, broad and square, with doors towards the rising sun. That is what was written about 480 years ago at this place. Spanish explorer Pedro Siaza de Leon here, writing down his thoughts. He learned about this place from talking to the natives. Well, we thought that was interesting. Haven't talked about Tiwanaku for a long time. That was a good one to do. Hope thought that was cool. And you all have a very safe day.